<laughs> Greetings and salutations, Doughboy Nation. Johnny Hawks, we're here once again with another video. And today, we're doing the plenum spacer. So, I've already taken off the strut bar and the intake. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So, the first, let me get out the plenum spacer sitting up there in that box and show you guys what we're doing. We're also, we're also doing the it's called isothermal uh, CCD, the coolant control valve. I'll show you guys what it is in a second, but let me show you guys this. So I got the blocks when I'm switching. I haven't heard bad things. I haven't heard anything special or, or alarming, so it should be okay. So here's our front spacer. Down in there, here's our isothermal valve. Uh, we also have a gasket for the lower plenum, but I'm probably not going to do that because that's a lot more bolts, a lot more time, and a lot more things can go wrong. So I'm probably just going to leave that gasket the way it is. Right here is our spacer. It's still brand new. I bought this over a year ago, actually. I still haven't installed it, but here we go. Fine, I'm doing it today. Here are all of our new bolts, our new washers, and our spacers for the middle, uh, the middle bolts. I know what all the torque specs are. I'm going to go back and look. For the, for the torquing, let me show you what I have for that. So for torquing our bolts, I have this, an Adelco. I don't know what the hell it's called, but let me just check it out. So basically, it's a little attachment you can put on any other ratchet. You can go inch pounds, uh, foot pounds, any of the ones. And uh, right now, it's an inch pound. And I can set it to whatever I want. I'm gonna make sure I know how to use this first, and then we will get cracking on this. But yeah, I got this from my local, well, not my local, my fabrication shop at Elizabethtown College, where I attend my schooling. And uh, hopefully this is, this works. I mean, it will work, not hopefully this better fucking works. I'm doing engine work, I gotta have my shit torqued right. So I'm gonna get all the proper sequences and the proper torque specs. I, know, I think it's 40, 60, 100, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure of that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. So let's set, set that aside for now. First thing we gotta do is take off this upper plenum. So let's move this. Also, put that back on the ground. So we have bolts on bolts on bolts. We got bolts here, 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 here. Bolts in the middle, six bolts in there. We got bolts over here, bolts over there. Um, the This thing, the, the fucking throttle body can stay on. Uh, also, one quick note, never touch, never touch that. Don't even come close to touching it, cause you you touch it, you move it, you gotta go to fucking Nissan and get that shit recalibrated. That's that's some annoying ass shit. But anyways, so um, the hell is this little nub? That's, that's a weird. It's a weird. I don't know what the hell that is. That's weird. Okay, but uh, yeah, so we got a hose here. There's another hose. Where my hose at? Where my hose at? Where my hose at? Where my hose at? I forgot where it was. Okay, I think I have everything off. This line right here was literally, a, I had to put my full body weight pulling on this thing just to get it off. So let's see if I disturb the piece a little bit. Do some rocking, do some shaking. Oh, maybe this, this is what the, the nub is for. Oh, yep, that's what the nub's for. Okay, that's what that little nub was for. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Let's get this guy off here. Okay, now that that is unplugged, we're gonna lift. Hold on. We're gonna lift. It's coming out yet? Is it still not coming out? It smells like gas. Jesus. I guess that's kind of what you expect when you work on a gasoline powered vehicle. Oh! Oh, one little hose. One little hose being a little hoe. Alright, I'm gonna I'm see that guy down there. Oh, you can't see him. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can get the light. Set, set some light on the subject. There we go. See that little black hose right there? I, I gotta get his ass off too. Shit. I'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it out. I can maybe stretch it. I'll put it vertical. See if that'll work. I'll try it out. Okay, so I got... I actually... That line right there, I actually took off down there. Uh, I knew that was a coolant line, but... What the instructional video I was watching uh, didn't tell me was that a bunch of coolant would start pushing out of that thing. So uh, I, I lost a little bit of coolant, not a ton, but I'll probably be checking the, the the level on that before I ever start this thing up. But um, 
There is one more hose over there. But I'm thinking, can I just do it like this? Like, am I able to just put it on with it just propped up like that? Like, not take the whole damn thing out? Because I don't need to. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to try it out. But right now, I'm going to get out with the plenum spacer and put it on. Now, real quick, before I put it on, I want you to address something quick with sealant. Things like Loctite, Gasket Maker, leaving on the OEM's uh, thing right here. It can go either way, guys. I've seen, I'm, I'm, I I just looked at tons of forums and all this shit. People who did it this way, people who did it that way. There's videos of it this way and that way. It, as far as I know, it doesn't really matter. You can use Loctite on your bolts if you want to use Loctite. It's good luck getting it off again. But if you want to use Loctite, use Loctite. Um. If you want to use a gasket maker around the whole thing, use a gasket maker. If you want to leave this gasket here, leave it here. If you want to get a new one, get a new one. If you want to leave the old one, leave the old one. It actually doesn't fucking matter, uh, apparently. So so says the internet. But uh, I'm just going to put this right on, close it, bolt it up. That's what I'm going to do. And hopefully that doesn't cause anything to happen. So, okay. <laughs> also, uh, well, let me show you guys this part right, real quick. So when, it, so when you put it up on here, this part over here is going to kind of get in the way. So you just got to scooch that over and that'll be good. Sorry, right, I'm going to install this and uh, hopefully I don't break my car. <laughs> okay, guys, so everything is going pretty well so far. I do have two leftover bolts and I realized... And I forgot about these these studs right here. Now, looking around at the hardware I pulled off, and just from my memory, I didn't pull anything off of these studs. As in, my car didn't have any nuts on these studs. Which has me thinking, do, we, do I even really need to remove these studs? Is what I'm thinking. Now... Thing is, I, I honestly, I honestly don't know <laughs> because some guys, they re re replace those studs with longer M6 studs, by the way, that's what they are. But <sighs> it wasn't on there before. It probably needs to be on there even more so now. Um, I guess I'll try to remove them. See if I can take them out and see if I can just thread this guy just all the way through and just tighten it like any other bolt. Uh, if not, so I'll just leave it there and see what happens. Worst that'll happen is a vacuum leak, and that can be easily heard just like with my ears. It's not going to, you know, blow up as far as I know. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it don't blow anything up. All right. So, guys, after some thinking, I decided, you know what? I'm going to be the first case to not put bolts in over there. But I'm going to be the, the guinea pig. Find out what exactly happens when you don't put the bolts, in, bolts back in over there. So we're going to install this. I'm going to check. And, I still, and, and if I have a vacuum leak, if, if I can hear a vacuum leak, then... I'll redo everything. And if not, we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Let's hope I'm not fucking up. I feel like every time I say that, I I I I end up fucking up. I feel like that that's what happens. Like that's the pattern here. But okay. I'm gonna do this now. kind of cool. <laughs> that was seven foot pounds. Okay. I actually got to use my phone to uh, <laughs> figure out where like, the order in which they go because I'll at least do that part right. So uh, let's, let's do that. Sorry guys, can't walk this part. So, uh, oh shit. So, oh my god. So, I have torqued everything down to seven foot pounds. I made sure that, that this thing is beeping as I turn it, as I will demonstrate right here. 
gotta make sure it's beeping as you turn it. And it turned off. <laughs> Steady beep means it's good. So, I checked everything. I checked all of them. We're gonna see if I get vacuum leaks on the stud sides. But, like I said, like, this is all of my hardware. This is all of the hardware from earlier. So see, that's all my hardware over here. There is the rest of it, of, of the old hardware. None of it's there. <laughs> None of it. Oh my goodness, guys. In the heat of the moment, I almost forgot about our CCV valve right here. So here are my instructions for these. I'm going to look at I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at these and make sure that everything is right. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this part together. So it's super super simple. You just screw those two things into the middle thing. And let me do that quick. So in case you guys don't know what this does, uh basically this line right here, it takes heat from the coolant and it basically pumps it into the throttle body heat soaking it faster so that uh, it saves you gas. So what I'm going to do with this is, well, at times when I want to save gas and things like that, then I will turn it one way. And at times when I don't care, I'll turn it the other way. But basically, I had to cut a one and a half inch section out of this tube. Um, then just put this in there, put these hose clamps on it. And that's about it. Super, super simple. Hope I don't fuck it up somehow. Because I have to cut a hose now. So now it's serious business. But I'm probably gonna cut it, put in uh put put this in on one side, and then find out exactly how much I need to cut it for the for the other side. Not cut both sides and end up being short and then fucking my life. So let's do that this way. <laughs> okay, so a couple painstaking minutes later, I got it on. I actually only made one cut. Uh, like towards the back, towards this, like, I don't know what, oh, my hand's blocking all the light. Toward this thing, just like right in the middle, like the distance of, of this clamp is how far on the hose I cut. Pretty much, um, that should be on. And I can turn this, close it, open it, whenever I want. This thing actually cost me 50 bucks. And after looking at it, I realized I can probably find the same shit at Home Depot somewhere. <laughs> but now you guys know so now y'all know that and y'all know about this so that's cool it's kind of like kinking over here actually no it's not kinking it's like curving but that's all down tight and I just have to I, I just have to put the intake oh shit I didn't plug in this I put the plug near the throttle body I didn't plug the throttle body actually in there we go now now that's in Hopefully, we'll be ready for a startup. <laughs> Alright, guys. It is time for the moment of truth. I know I'm in my garage, but this is going to be quick. I don't hear any vacuum leaks. I don't feel any vacuum leaks. Oh. Nope, nothing. Intake is all set. I think we're good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna shut it off now. I thought I saw lights on my dash for a second there. Hold on a second. Let's, let's check again real quick. Oh, just a break. Wow, okay, not even a service engine soon light. Damn. I guess you could say that this was a successful install? I don't want to say that yet, though. I've, I'm, I'm scared to. I mean, I guess it worked. Don't smell the carbon monoxide. That fucking alarm is probably about to go off now. Okay. All right, <laughs> yeah, yes, it, it worked, it worked. I'm not gonna speak now, I'm not gonna speak too soon, but so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Looks like we're in the green, guys. 
I'm happy. I've had this plenum spacer for over a year just sitting. It was in my trunk for a while, and I was just too scared to install it. I finally did it, and here we freaking go. Damn. All right, well, guys, I guess that is it from me, then. Um... I don't care if you like or subscribe to my YouTube page because I do this for fun. Uh, but if you're new and you like what you saw, maybe you should like or subscribe. I don't know. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, till the next stream, guys. <laughs> and until the next dream. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>